Welcome, I'm Michael Baker. Thanks for joining me today as we explore concepts with the objective of improving your management skills and growing your business. You know, I always like when people make predictions as to what's going to happen in the road ahead. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make some predictions as to what you can expect in this year of business ahead of you. And regardless of when you're watching this, I think it's going to be relevant, which also probably implies I'm going to you know, take some softballs. I'm not going too far out on a limb here. I can just about guarantee you the predictions that I'm making here are going to happen. And with that in mind, you might say, well, that's not very risky and that's therefore not very useful. Those things are obvious. And I always remind you that so much of what I state is obvious and yet it's very useful because it's meant to get you to reflect on those things that maybe aren't revolutionary, but will impact your business if you are heedful of them, if you're mindful of these things and you try to affect change. So at the very beginning here, as usual, I like to remind you to grab a notepad and a pen, jot some notes down because I want you to make a commitment to yourself that you will implement something in your business today. Take down an action item that you can actually get started on. That's what it's all about, action. All right, without further ado, let's get started with the predictions. And these are in no particular order. Uh, as I say, these are the types of things I can just about guarantee you that these are going to take place. So the first one is that the market is going to be more volatile than, I don't know if I want to say ever before, but for most of you, it'll be the most volatile market that you've ever had to engage in, in terms of running your business. And that means more volatile than last year. So if you think you went through a really difficult year, you're about to go through an even more difficult year. Volatility is the watchword here. And what is going to take place is going to be dependent on the business that you have. There are going to be radical swings in terms of the market share that various businesses have and those players that are rising to the top. So that's the silver lining here is anytime that things are volatile, it's very challenging. But these challenges are there for you. The bright side for you is that if you respond and if you are really mindful and you are um, participating and you are analyzing and you're strategizing, uh, strategizing and you are looking back at all these other videos that I've created to give you tips for how you can respond and be the most effective business person that you can be. A volatile environment like the one you're about to engage in with your business is a huge opportunity. It's a huge challenge. You are going to have huge challenges, but remember, so is everyone else. So those others that are trying to compete with you, those who take your customers away from you from time to time, and those that are the businesses that you're trying to take customers from to gain market share, to grow your business, they're facing the very same challenges. As such, if you respond better, if you don't get down, if you don't get dejected by all the challenges and the volatility that you're going to face and you respond accordingly and you are proactive, then you will find that you are going to be one of those businesses that has a great increase in market share. Now, let me just caution you that an increase in market share will not necessarily mean an increase on your bottom line. But when things, let's say uh, you are operating in a down market, your particular business is, is uh, operating in a, an industry that is experiencing less revenues overall in the whole um, industry than before, but you increase your market share, when business comes back and the market responds again in better times, then you will have a greater share of that market. Therefore, your revenues will also increase. But for many of you, even now, that increased market share can also translate to increased revenues and increased profitability. I hope that makes sense. It should be pretty obvious that that's the case. So that's the first one. You're going to experience more volatility this year than probably ever before in your business uh, history, in your career of management. But if you respond well, if you are proactive, you will beat the competition and you can thrive in this kind of environment. All right. The next prediction is, I think again, pretty obvious from my perspective, maybe you disagree, 
The second prediction is this. Central authorities, however well-intended, will continue to impose more regulations and more restrictions that continue to cause more chaos and turmoil in marketplaces. They will disrupt and corrupt ordinarily predictable or fairly predictable, relatively predictable market forces. So free market forces should be more predictable, but as central authorities get involved and impose various restrictions, again, regardless of how well intended, it will corrupt free market forces and make it more difficult to navigate these waters. And this is very much related to the first uh, prediction of volatility. So with that in mind, I can, again, I will promise you this is going to occur you're going to have to figure out how to navigate those things. And when it comes to elections and things like that, try to make sure you are looking for those people who are um, running on platforms of individual rights and freedoms and less regulation and more ability for individual businesses to make decisions as opposed to crony capitalism, uh, crony capitalism and more and more uh, regulation and uh, less and less control for business owners. That's going to be r the only real control you have over this and you should focus your attention on those things for which over which you have the most control. This is one that you won't have a lot of control over so but it still helps to bear in mind that it's going to happen and try to plan for it. Try to think okay what will I do as these regulations come again. Just like I said before you don't have to you know know all the answers. You just have to be better than your competition. So everybody is going to struggle with this. This is really impactful on all small and medium sized businesses in particular. Some of these restrictions and these regulations are actually creating unfair competitive advantages for huge businesses as you know. Yet they can also create competitive advantages for those who are well positioned, those smaller businesses, those who take the time to figure out what can I do? What sort of pivots, uh, I know that's a sort of a, a buzz term, but what sort of ways can you change your business proactively and pivot if necessary? You don't have to do a 180 degree turn necessarily, some of you will, and try to create greater value for your customer despite greater and greater environments or more and more restrictive environments with greater and greater, greater restrictions and regulations. Think about those things in advance and you can still thrive. That is the silver lining. That is the bright side of my second prediction. I'm afraid that a lot of these predictions are uh, going to impact some people with a lot of uh, negativity. You might be averse to these things, but that's what you are. You're an entrepreneur and you're a fighter. So you're going to have to be proactive and try to make a change. The next prediction that I can just about guarantee you is going to happen, it is happening right now, is that there is going to be a greater emphasis on virtual communications and remote work environments. There's going to be this migration from the more traditional communication, face-to-face -face communications and brick and mortar office locations in which people do their work to a work from anywhere model. It just, it's very attractive, both for employers who can reduce expenses and employees who get more autonomy and freedom and less commutes and all that kind of stuff. This is happening and it's becoming easier and easier. And a real reason why this is going to take place in a big way in the year ahead is because it's now proven. It's proven effective and it's increasingly obvious in more and more um, businesses and more and more applications. The various jobs and the ways that people can do this it's, it's being proven. And as people communicate with one another, business owners talk to one another, and just in the course of socialization and regular business, people realize, wow, those guys over there, one of my competitors or a colleague that I have, he's effectively doing it from home. Why couldn't we do this with some of our people? It's going to happen. And if that's intimidating for you, remember, you can reach out to BMI, visit our website, biggermanagement.com. We handle all of that for you. We can, we can create all the tools and all the kind of things that you need to be part of this transition. You uh, can reach out to us to help you with that. And you don't have to worry about being one of those uh, businesses that is left behind. We can help you lower your expenses and compete in that regard. If you don't do this, 
and my prediction is accurate and I'm guaranteeing you this is happening. It's happening and businesses that you compete with right now are already investigating this and they're already doing this to more to a greater and greater degree. If you don't do this, your expenses will remain higher than some of your competitors. That'll make an impact on what you have to charge for pricing. That means your value uh, equation is not as strong as it otherwise could be or as strong as the competition and you may flounder. So be careful. You, you should be looking and you should be researching this. Now, some of you listening, it is impractical completely. And there are certainly, of course, there are certain positions that you have to be on ground. You're trying to look to see, are there other parts of your business, including you as the manager? Do you need to be occupying space on uh, within your shop, within your showroom or whatever it may be? Who in your organization could perform the value that they perform for your business from a remote work environment? Start asking yourselves at the minimum. So that's maybe your homework today is start asking yourself. And we have a whole video on this that you can look into this a little bit more. Reach out to us if you need more help. That's the second prediction or the third prediction. The next prediction I will make is that artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning and automation will become an increasing part of all business. It will be no longer the exclusive domain of big tech companies and you will find these things taking root in just mom and pop shops, everyday businesses, colleagues that you have, smaller businesses are going to be taking advantage of these technologies. In some ways you'll be doing it without knowing. Maybe some of the platforms and software tools that you all are already using will be uh, becoming more and more reliant on those algorithms and the AI. Um, but you will probably be able to benefit from greater and greater application of these tools in your business in ways you hadn't thought of. Again, this is no longer the domain of those big tech companies or just big companies in general. And it's becoming more and more affordable. Once again, of course, we handle all of this stuff for our clients, our customers. You can reach out to us and we can handle this all for you. We have the best tools and they're specifically design for businesses like yours and i'm saying that not knowing what business you're in other than you're probably a small and medium-sized business owner and that's what our software works with and we we have ai and we have workflow automations we can really help you with this kind of stuff and really streamline things to make your business more efficient and by doing so we can help you to lower costs and add greater value to your customers and survive and thrive in an environment that is increasingly volatile and in which your competitors might be struggling and wondering what are they going to do, you can reach out to us and we can help you uh, get a competitive edge. Frankly, those failing to adapt and to implement some of these artificial intelligent tools and workflow automations in their business are going to find it increasingly difficult to compete. So you don't want to be the last person to the party. And, uh, you know, now is the time to get started. If not now, then when don't wait. The last prediction I'm going to make today is one that I could predict at the beginning of just about every year. I can predict this at any time, in fact, and it is 100% accurate. Only select few of you entrepreneurs, business owners, and managers will proactively adapt and change, innovate in any meaningful way and streamline your operation. In contrast, most businesses, most managers, most entrepreneurs will only evolve reactively and to the extent that outside factors force them to change. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be the person who makes the change, who innovates and finds ways to refine your business when you have to. Everyone else is already on board by that time or many of the, uh, the strongest competitors are. You want to be, and in fact, the fact that you are watching this video is likely an indicator that you are somebody who actually does want to be proactive and make the change. But just watching isn't enough. That's why we talk about taking notes and implementing. What are you going to do to improve your business? Start by watching that long video I have on, um, on value and the constituent components of value. How will you increase value of your product or service this year? Look at all those kinds of things and then 
each time implement something proactively, create a strategy for change, innovation and refinement immediately and uh, in perpetuity. You want to be doing this at all times. Don't wait for some central authority, some government restriction to force you to have to change. Don't wait for a competitor to offer value in a way to your market that you hadn't thought of before and now you're forced to compete by copying what he's doing. I mean, these things do happen and I understand that you will be reactive sometimes. Your goal though is to be more effective as a manager, more effective as a business leader by doing things proactively, by planning, spending time thinking. The most important thing you can do, I say it all the time, your work takes place between the ears managers, entrepreneurs, you need to be doing thinking and strategizing to the extent that you are unable to do that because you're so busy. Those are symptoms of ineffectiveness. And we have lots of material to help you the tyranny of the urgent and videos like that to help you figure out how to get out of that space. And so don't be one of the ones that are obvious, those vast majority who will only react to outside forces that are making them change. Instead, be one of the few. That's the people that rise to the top. That's why the fact that it's hard is, is should be something that is encouraging to you. The fact that it's difficult, the fact that it takes you outside of your comfort zone should be something that is encouraging to you because it means most people won't do it. And when you consider that and you might think, well, I'm being negative, I'm being realistic here. I'm telling you the facts. Most people won't do this and that creates a greater opportunity for you to be at the pinnacle. One of those people who really takes advantage of market share improvement by being proactive. Those are my predictions. I want to stick with five. I have many others. Maybe we'll do other videos for more predictions. And I think these predictions are relevant regardless of when you're watching this video. I'm happy, happened to be recording this video at the beginning of the year. That's what inspired me to do this. But I'm telling you these things to a great degree will be very predictable going forward and they may be obvious to you. I think you might disagree with some of them, but I think most of you would say, yeah, I can see that happening. And, and what are you doing about it? That is the question. So leave a comment, like reach out to us. If you need some help, leave a comment below something that, uh, maybe some questions, some area you want me to elaborate or some suggestions you have for others in this community who are watching these videos and are trying to learn. We need to learn from one of the, from one another perpetual refinement.